What's up there? DP Uh, I had an awkward run-in with a homeless person the other day I want to tell you guys about. Um, 
I live right off of Harlem Avenue at 290 by the Ferrera Candy Company over in Berwyn. I stay in Berwyn. And uh, right when you get on the highway over there, and some of the highways in Chicago, they have that red and green light at the bottom of the ramp that controls traffic during rush hour. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I'm getting on the highway the other day, right? And all the way down the ramp next to the red and green light, there's a homeless guy with a cup, okay? He's not up on the street like all the normal homeless people, like if there is such a thing, like he's all the way down the ramp. So I pull up, right? I look, there's no cars behind me. I roll down the window, I go, hey buddy, wanna have some fun? Which uh think of that probably wasn't the best first choice of words. You know, but, uh, <laughs> I've got this shiny quarter, right? Put your cup down on the ledge. I'm going to throw the quarter, all right? If I miss it, I'm going to give you this crispy $20 bill. I pull out a $20 bill. Now, side note, guys, I'm not really worried about $20, okay? I'm kind of balling, like, humble brand. I'm driving a PT Cruiser, okay? I'm like, humble brand, okay? It's like, but if I, if I get the quarter in your cup, you've got to give me all the money in the cup. The guy's like, there's not that much money in there. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm like, yeah, are we doing this or not? He goes, okay, right? So he puts the cup down on the ledge, right? I throw that quarter, and I kid you not, I drop it right in the middle of the cup like a Steve Kerr three-pointer during the Bulls 90s playoff run, just making it rain, right? <laughs> this homeless guy looks stunned, right? And he looks sad because now he realizes he's got to give me all the money in that cup. So as he comes walking over to my car, I have to decide if I'm going to take this homeless guy's money or not. And to be honest, you guys, I took the homeless guy's money. It's okay. In all fairness, he kind of had a gambling problem, right? <laughs> Sugar-free candy or, or, or something. 
Like, Liam Neeson's my dad, you would have gotten too far anyway, so don't let it freak out. Like, you should have just said Candy Crush, I would have jumped in your van and drove myself over to your creepy ass basement with a well in it and put the lotion on myself without you even asking, you know? Your, your creepy ass basement with a well in it upstairs from an Arby's, you know? <laughs> That's creepy. Having a basement with a well in it upstairs from an Arby's. If there was a song to describe how creepy that basement is, it would go a little something like this. Yo, basement, super creep, super creep. That's how I rap. <laughs> I mean, unless you found a fat kid with diabetes, then I guess that would, by far, that would be like a unanimous choice. Like, Clarence kind of kid again. We, we need a break over here. I heard someone like freaking out. We, we doing okay? We doing okay? I'm, I, I care about you. I just want to make sure you're, you're doing okay. What, should, am I, should I do one more? Close it up? Alright. I'll do one or two quick new ones real quick because it is open mic. And you can let me know how you like these. Here's the first one. Colonoscopy, more like colonoscopy, am I right? Oh, <laughs> oh, Alright, and, and here's my last one. I just posted this on Twitter last week. It got a good response. I hope you guys like it. Um, I got a little frightened on Twitter because I just found out that George Zimmerman created a Twitter account. Yes. yes. Did you hear about that? It's yes. at the real George C, which I blocked because I know what happens when that dude follows people. Fuck that. <laughs> What's up there?